scariest clips of the week. You're about to see some of the scariest videos floating around the internet. Let's check them out. Yo, Tiddy, I can handle the horror, bro. For several years now, Candace Garner she's has drunk. believed that her home is haunted by a mysterious presence. Nah, she just looks drunk. It all started with small, unsettling occurrences. Objects inexplicably moving from their places, orbs of light floating through the air, and an ever-present eerie sensation of being watched. These strange events became so frequent and disturbing that Candace decided to take matters into her own hands by setting up cameras around her house in hopes of capturing evidence hey, of the paranormal. Hey, hey, the ghost is giving you a sign. The ghost is telling you this place is dirty, you gotta clean. Bro, why is it chucking the dustpan and brush? The footage that Candace has collected over time is nothing short of chilling. In one clip taken during the day, her wise home security system catches some eerie movement. Okay. In another piece of footage, orbs of light, often considered by some as spiritual or supernatural phenomena, can be seen drifting through the house. Aye, right, aye, right, aye, right. listen, 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 listen. This is where I draw the line, bro. This is where I draw the line, right? Listen, we see orbs across. Yo, how many spirits do you think you got in your house? A thousand. You think you got a thousand spirits in your house, yeah? Normally you see one orb go across. Mate, you have literally, I, I, I think you got that um, bubble blower. I think she's got the bubble blower there, blowing out bubbles, bro. Why is there so many? Why is there so many? In another Why piece of so footage, many? orbs of light, often considered by some as spiritual or supernatural phenomena, can be seen drifting through the house. Why is it so, thank you, Tiddy. Why is there so many, bro? The sheer number of specks has left some viewers They're wondering if it's more than just dust. <laughs> Wait, what was the detection here? What was that? The situation takes a terrifying turn in this next clip, captured in the kitchen. Okay, that's dangerous, mate. Yeah, you, they always try to stab you. You've got a London ghost. That's a bad ghost right there. Watching that again in slow oh motion, God, hit her head. a knife suddenly flies that through hit her head. the air. Watching that again in slow motion, a knife suddenly flies through the air. Chat, mm, I was trying to see if she tossed that. It's 50 50, bro. It's 50 50, bro. The knife seems to move with deliberate force, not just a casual slip or fall. Yo, imagine, like, imagine she's actually trying to hoax this and she's took the knife and she's accidentally, like, threw it straight in her head. Imagine. Which suggests something more sinister might be at play. In the final clip, Candace and her partner are napping on the couch when something truly creepy oh, starts to this. happen. Oh, I've seen this. This is weird, actually. Ready? The grab. Watch this, the grab. Her leg is lifted into the air in an unnatural motion. Yeah, there's no way you can do that. That's weird. That's weird. When she wakes up, she's understandably terrified. You can't do that, right? Like you actually can't go into that position. Wait, you can? No, but the way, like, her hips lift up as well. There's no way you can do that. There's no way. There's no way you could do, like, like, you could do this part, but here in an from here. Motion. What? Like, it's lifting up. Li here. There's no way you can do that, right? Surely. That looks like someone's grabbing her. When she wakes up, she's understandably terrified. What exactly is happening in Candace's home? Could it really be haunted by a malevolent spirit or some other paranormal force? The evidence she's gathered certainly points to something beyond the ordinary.
That one's strange for me. That one, this right no, here, no, that's no, strange. No, 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 the way it's pulling no, her up. No, 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 do you want creepy clips in your feed every single day of the week? What is then this head on over monster? and subscribe to our new box down below there. It's also pinned. As though as TikTok user Fran Devil is convinced his home is haunted and he's not alone in that belief. For several years now, he's been documenting the bizarre and eerie events that seem to plague his house sharing them with his 140,000 plus followers who eagerly await each new post. The strange occurrences he's captured on camera have left viewers both fascinated and terrified as they try to piece together the mystery of what's happening in Fran Devil's home. In one of his earlier clips, while sitting in his kitchen, Fran Devil manages to capture something truly strange on camera. Okay. Hey, you the got, kitchen you gotta... is far from the only area Pro of the house works. experiencing strange activity. In another video, bizarre events unfold in the bathroom. So you're telling me a ghost is pulling that and you're going, like, what? What? It's, instead of screaming and be like, oh, fuck. What, what, what's that, bro? Oh, does that say lock? Late one night, Fran Devil is awoken by frantic knocking at his window. Oh, he's saying mirror. Oh, just really fast. Like that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Not today. <laughs> A mysterious figure can be seen standing in the distance. Okay, that's a creepy looking person. The yeah, encounter left him deeply unsettled and his followers were equally spooked by the chilling footage. Fuck that! As the eerie events began to escalate, Fran Devil took further precautions by installing cameras in every room of his home. In one particularly frightening encounter, his young son becomes involved. Oh! The tension is palpable. <laughs> Yo, bro, you're telling me instead of checking on your son and checking a room, you just run straight to the camera. <laughs> oh, son! Wait, someone grabbed you out of bed! Move out of the way, son. Camera. <laughs> Priorities, bro. Priority. As Fran Devil's followers watch the incident unfold, knowing that something's deeply wrong inside of this house. One of the most unsettling moments comes from a camera placed in Fran Devil's bedroom. I, chat, that is fucking creepy. Let me just go after it. That, that's actually creeping me out. Let me just go after that. Uh, chat, listen, I am lead detective, okay? And. I don't like to always sit on here and say shit stage, you know what I mean? But this is clearly stage. Because, listen, why is it every time, we've seen it three times now, every time an object moves, it moves towards him when he's off camera. It moves always towards him, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Always. Every single movement so far has been towards him, bro. Long inside of this house. Every, look, straight towards One him. of the most unsettling moments comes That's from a camera creepy, placed mate. in Fran Devil's bedroom. Creepy. In the darkness, the camera catches something eerie lurking in the shadows. That is fucking creepy. Bro, is that Michael Jackson? 
There are dozens more examples of the strange activity that Fran Devil has documented, and his followers pour over every clip searching for clues and trying to make sense of the chilling mystery. What's that? So could this be the work of a restless spirit? Or is there something even more sinister at play wait, here? Wait, 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 are you telling me, was it, is that his wife or is the ghost fucking him? What is going on? Is that his wife or is the ghost fucking, I, is Michael Jackson fucking him? What is going on? Clip searching for clues and trying to make sense of the chilling mystery. So could this be the work of a restless spirit? Or is there something even more sinister at play here? <laughs> Yeah, that person is creepy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You won't want to see that. Cause it's Freedom! <laughs> Michael Jackson's a go. The Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs, Arkansas is no stranger to tales of the supernatural. Billed as America's most haunted hotel, it's long been a magnet for ghost hunters, thrill seekers, and curious tourists. Among them was TikToker and mum of two, amusing Angelina, who decided to spend a night in the infamous oh, hotel to see if the ghostly rumours were true. During her stay, while sitting on the balcony of her room at 6am enjoying her morning coffee, Angelina begins to hear something strange. Sounds eerily like someone singing. No, it don't. Sounds like a fucking generator. M enjoying her morning coffee, Angelina begins to hear something strange. I don't hear singing. I don't know what songs you're into, but I don't hear singing. It sounds eerily like someone singing. Am yeah, I deaf? There's no one else around. She initially brushed I heard it off, it a little but the unnerving bit. feeling lingered. To ensure she wasn't imagining things, Angelina uploaded a second version of the video where she amplified the sound, removing all background noise. The result is chilling. Dicks! You a fucking bitch. I'm, I, bro, I'm really trying to listen to this singing, bro. Anonymous. I'm really, I, I've got my ears perked out. You can't be doing that, bro. You can't be doing that. The result is chilling. <laughs> It definitely what? sounds like someone singing. Well, yeah, I can hear it now. It's a mystery. But how, how is she edited all that? To, how can we hear that so clearly now? The Crescent Hotel's reputation as a haunted hotspot is well earned. Yo, I, bro, bro, bro. I can hear that clearly, but how can I not hear that in the first? I'm confused. I'm confused with a history as rich as it is eerie. Built in 1886, the hotel has served many purposes one, over the years, from a luxury resort for the wealthy, to a college for young women, and even a dubious hospital run by Norman G. Baker, a man with no medical training who claimed to cure cancer. Baker's hospital left behind a legacy of pain and suffering, with many believing the spirits of those who died there still linger within the hotel's walls. Get off my One of the right most now. famous ghost stories associated with the Crescent Hotel involves room 218, where an Irish stonemason named Michael supposedly fell to his death during construction. Guests Rip. who stay in this room often report seeing hands coming out of the bathroom mirror, hearing the cries of a falling man, and experiencing doors that open and slam shut all on their own. Michael's spirit is one of many said to haunt the hotel, with apparitions regularly spotted in the crystal dining room and around the rest of the property. Guests have also captured strange photos during their stays at the Crescent Hotel. One such image shows what appears to be a transparent face on a wall. 
the fuck? While another photo reveals a woman in a nightgown standing at hey. the end of a hallway. Well, she can fuck off. Leave. I'm walking there. I'm walking The guest there. who took this photo insists there was no one around at the time the photo was taken. Well, there is. There's someone down there, mate. You can see her. The hotel's ghost tours are a popular attraction, with visitors eager to experience the paranormal for themselves. The guides, who have countless stories of their own, recount eerie encounters with guests who have witnessed unexplained phenomena, such as beds being mysteriously tucked in and Victorian-era apparitions leading them to their rooms. So could this old hotel really be haunted? With so many accounts of ghostly sightings, mysterious sounds and eerie photos, it's hard to dismiss the possibility. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, the Crescent Hotel offers an experience that's as fascinating as it is spine chilling, uh, well, leaving never visitors there, with stories they'll never Thank forget. You, no. I'll never be there. Screwed up. <laughs> this next eerie clip comes from the YouTube channel Scarefix, and it's one that's left viewers thoroughly spooked. The original. Wait. You're really trusting clips from a channel called Scare Fix. Doesn't fix mean like you rigged it, staged, fake, scare fix. Nah, I won't trust that channel, mate. I wouldn't trust that. Not Source of the footage remains a mystery, but what it shows is enough to send shivers down your spine. Me like a hit, the like clip a begins with a man taking a late night stroll oh, through his term. neighborhood when he suddenly spots something. Oh, like getting your scare fix, like getting your daily skit. Ah, uh, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. The clip begins with a man taking a late night stroll through his neighborhood when he suddenly spots something unsettling happening at the local playground. What? Well, yeah, this is what the fuck is going on here, mate? Oh yeah, you got no, 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 you, no. Too much is happening there. There's no one else around. Hey, stop the entire working playground up. is deserted, yet the equipment seems to be in full swing, as if Fuck invisible that. children are at play. Hell no! Yeah, this guy working out a bit so too hard. He's gonna break it. Is there a rational explanation for what's happening in this playground, or could it be something otherworldly at play? Come on, bro. If I, if a rational explanation. What, what, what do you think is happening? The wind? Ah, oh, he thinks ants as well. He's been watching our videos. He thinks it's the ants. To be fair, ants could do that workout, bro. I've seen it before. I'm t it could be ants, true. He's got a point. He's got a point. That could be an ant right there. They're super strong. Sticking with the eerie playground sightings, this next spine-chilling clip was uploaded by TikTok user Destination Weird, and it's left viewers scratching their heads. The video begins with a homeowner noticing something odd in the park. Why do they like apartment. playing on swings? Okay, that's weird, bro. One of the swings is moving back and forth. That is fucking weird. All by itself. The swing's unsettling motion catches the attention of a woman passing by. What, you just gonna go up to it? The Imagine swing begins moving dashed. again, almost as if it has a mind of its own. Yeah, no, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'd do the same. I wouldn't even touch it in the first place, bro. Moments later, another passerby, a jogger this time, sees the swing in motion once again. That's probably her boyfriend thinking, no, nah, she's tripping. Okay, that's weird. Man. Clearly spooked, fuck? he flees the area. Hey, that's going as well. No, nah, I'd shit myself. I would shit myself. The video has sparked a flurry of comments and theories. Some viewers speculate that it could just be a cleverly staged prank, while that's others believe prank. there might be something more supernatural at play. The repeated, unexplained motion of the swing has led many to wonder if this could be evidence of a ghostly presence in the old playground. So is this just a well-executed hoax, or could there be something more unsettling behind the mysterious swing? 
Love to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. Mate, if that's a prank, that's a good fucking prank. That was scared the crap out of me. And I don't get scared easily. Coming up in our last segment in just a few seconds, we take a deep dive into one of the greatest sports curses of all time. But before we do, remember to hit that subscribe button that notified every time we... In the world of sports, few tales are as bizarre and enduring as the Curse of the Colonel, a legend that haunted thing? Japan's Hanshin Tigers baseball team for nearly four decades. This peculiar urban legend began in 1985 and only found its resolution in 2023. Hey, if you tell me that they just lose every game and this is a, an excuse for them being shit, I'm not having that, bro. I'm not having that. Something scary better happen, bro. Not just them losing. I, you can't, you know, come here and bring excuses, mate. Three, when the Tigers finally broke free from the grip of superstition to claim their first championship in over 38 years. The story begins with the Hanshin Tigers' unexpected victory in the 1985 Japan Series, a triumph largely credited to their star American player, Randy Bass. Fans of the underdog Tigers were euphoric and a massive celebration ensued in the Kansai region, particularly in Osaka. The most raucous of these celebrations took place at Ibisu Bridge in Dotombori, where elated fans leapt into the canal to honour each player's name. But when it came time to celebrate Bass, who was distinctly American with a beard, a fan seized a plastic statue of Colonel Sanders, the mascot of KFC from a nearby restaurant, and hurled it into the river as an effigy. What seemed like a harmless act of revelry would soon take on a darker significance. According to the urban legend, the spirit of Colonel Sanders, angered by the disrespect shown to his likeness, cursed the Hunchin Tigers. The curse was simple. The Tigers would not win another championship until the Colonel's statue was recovered from the river. Bro. You're telling me the chicken man got that pissed you threw one of his millions, I bet he's got millions of statues, bro. Hundreds of thousands, right? You're telling me you got that pissed because one got thrown in a river. Bro, what the fuck is he going to do to me when I chuck his chicken in the bin? He's going to curse me? Bro, they probably just sucked. They, they probably was just ass and didn't win not win another championship until the Colonel's statue was recovered from the river. Hey, let's prove if it's actually a curse. Hey, Mr. Colonel! Mr. Colonel, your chicken is fucking shit! Yep! Everyone's chicken is better than your chicken. Shit! And when I see one of your statues, I'm gonna fucking piss on it! Nothing's happening. I feel fine. Are all my viewers still here? Yep. My subcat's still there? Yep. I seem good. The curse seemed all too real as the Tigers embarked on an 18 year streak of dismal performances, often finishing last Wait, or parked on it from the river. The curse seemed all too real as the Tigers embarked on an 18-year streak of dismal performances, okay. often finishing last or next to last in the league. Right. Despite several attempts to locate and retrieve the Colonel's statue from the murky waters of Dotombori, including diving expeditions and dredging operations, the statue remained elusive and the curse persisted. Even when the Tigers showed signs of resurgence in the 1990s and early 2000s, their efforts were ultimately thwarted, leaving fans convinced that the Colonel's curse was- No, I'm kidding. But chat, how many of you thought the Colonel was after me? Shit, wait, I'm actually cursed. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, my headset wire's actually stuck in my chair. Wait, I can't get out. Oh my god. 
Wait, I've actually lost my headset. The wire is stuck. Wait, I'm not even kidding. Wait, I might actually be cursed. Oh, God, I... oh my god, I thought I might have to fucking just cancel it there. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Wait, everything seems to be going wrong right now. Maybe I'm cursed. Yo! <laughs> hey, Colonel. And just in case, chat, Colonel, yo, your chicken's actually good. Why are you so mad for? Okay, we're back. Right, we're back. Back to the video. <laughs> ...was to blame for their misfortune. In 2003, the Tigers had a remarkable season, winning the Central League and raising hopes that the curse had finally been lifted. What, did they However, get the, the joy was short-lived as they lost the Japan series to the Fukuoka Die Hawks. The celebratory atmosphere in Osaka turned tragic when a young man, Masaya Shitababa, drowned in the canal during the post-game festivities, a stark reminder of the curse's ominous presence. Hope was rekindled in March of 2009 when divers unexpectedly discovered the long-lost statue of okay. Colonel Sanders in the Dotombori right. River. The only way, the only way I would slightly believe this is if from this point onwards they started winning everything that's the only way i'm gonna believe it otherwise they just sucked bro the statue was retrieved in pieces with its upper body right hand and lower body recovered although the statue was missing its glasses and left hand okay. fans saw this as a sign that the curse might finally be lifted the fish stole it the statue was restored with new glasses and a replacement hand and returned to kfc japan a cardboard cutout replica of the statue was even placed in a branch near Koshien Stadium during the Tigers' playoff run in 2023. After nearly four decades of waiting, the Hanshin Tigers broke the curse in 2023 by winning Game 7 of the Japan Series. The victory ended the Tigers' 38... Wait, 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 wait. Can anyone remember what year they got back the statue? Can anyone remember? What year did they get back the statue? 2009? Nah, this is a stretch. How are you telling me you get back the statue and then 15 years later, bro, did you then win? What is it? it bro, is it a 15 year waiting? Is that how curse work? You gotta wait 15 years afterwards? Eight year championship drought and fans once again gathered in Dotombori to celebrate. This time throwing a fan cosplaying as Colonel Sanders into the <laughs> river as a nod to the curse's origins. The final chapter of the curse was written on March 8, 2024, when KFC Japan held a burial ceremony for the recovered statue, citing difficulties in maintaining its condition. The curse of the colonel had finally been laid to rest, leaving behind a legacy of superstition, hope, and the enduring spirit of baseball fans who never gave up on their team. The curse of the colonel remains it. one of the most it. famous sports curses in history, often compared to the curse of the Bambino that plagued the Boston Red Sox. It's a reminder of how deeply sports can intertwine with culture, superstition and the collective psyche of fans. While the curse may now be broken, its story it will sacred. continue to be told for generations as a testament to the power of belief and the unpredictable nature of sports. And perhaps a chilling reminder- Wait. Wait, Colonel, am I screwed for the next 15 years then? Oh, shit. Fuck. I'm, check I'm checking out, out any, like, devastating emails. Imagine I got an email saying, banned from Twitch, banned from YouTube. Then I'd, I'd believe it then. ...of just how vindictive Colonel Sanders can truly be. But he will have... Oh, man. Yo, Mr. Colonel, I'm sorry, dude. Sorry, Colonel. Sorry, bro. 